Cool. Okay, I changed the batteries, stepped on a goat head in the process, and I'm pretty sure, I think I know what this is, this one is called. It's a, uh, oh it says Blue Fox on it, so I guess it's made by Blue Fox, if that's even a company anymore, but I think it's in Tiger Shad color, but basically in this box I have like all my spoons and like spinner baits, and this is another one of my first crank baits, it's kind of long, like, I don't know what kind of fish I'll catch with this, but maybe like a big fish, probably. It rattles. It doesn't rattle that much, actually. But like, something that I noticed is like, like this one, the little hopper rattles, and I thought that was kind of weird. And the crankbait rattles a lot, and the popper's kind of loud, too. My foot still hurts from stepping on the... Oh, okay, I'm bleeding. Didn't think it hurt that bad, but... And, um, in this other, like, compartment, I have Pistol Pete's and stuff. I have them in all kinds of different colors. Oh, there's another treble hook. I don't know where I'm finding all these treble hooks, because, like, I don't even have that many treble hooks. But... Yeah, and then in this one I have like line, like it's basically string for like in case like I forgot my rods or something I could still hand line. And I also have bobbers, and I have like okay, and then in the bottom compartment I have pliers. I have um some of these. They're the havoc bottom hoppers in 6.25 inch and um yeah and these ones are these are zoom four inch dead riggers and they're in pumpkin charties or something and then I also have like I have like a little box of hooks Oh, yeah, I just have that randomly. I like, like I said, I have all kinds of different size pencil floats. Let's see, different size, different size. Yeah, I have all kinds of those. Oh, this one's kind of weird. Cause like, yeah, it's fine. And then like, I have my eight pound monofilament, seven hundred yard spool. Oh, and this right here is a snagging hook. In case you don't know. It's a snagging hook. I bought a like a big old pack of them, and I didn't have anything else to put them on because I didn't want to put them on eight pound monofilament because these are at least five ounces at least. And I need to retry this knot on this one, but the rest of them are at my dad's. So like, yeah, and then um. Oh, it just snagged me. And, yeah, I have that. And then I have, like, little box. It came with weights, except I put some, like, I have, a, like, two little split shots in here. And then I have two of the 14 or 16 hooks. And I have um some bigger hooks. I think these ones are, like, 10s or 12s maybe and then I have like some smaller a smaller version of these kind of weights in here and that's all that's in here and then I also have like I have six pound monofilament line this is um for like the smaller hooks and stuff this is like the leader that I use so just because it like actually fits through the hook and then I have like salmon eggs 
Well, no, these are Nightcrawler eggs. <coughs> and then I have Power Bait. And I have like, oh, what's this? Fun. And like I in the bottom compartment, I also have like some of the hooks that I snailed. Some of them aren't mine. Like in this pack, none of these ones I. Oh wait, I snailed one of these, and I put 20 pound braid on it just cause like I don't know. I just felt like putting 20 pound braid on it. And then like this one, I have. Two of them that are mine, and they have, um, I think it's the eight pound one with them. And this one, I have two that are mine, and I should probably put better fishing line on them just because they're like a bigger hook. So, like, next time I go to my dad's, I might grab my 40 pound test and. Yeah, I might put some of these ones on there because I know that um, the ones that aren't mine, I think they have 50 pound. Okay, well, it doesn't say, but yeah, I think it, it's, it has 50 pound. And then this right here, it's a brand new pack. So uh, I haven't even opened it, but none of them are mine. Oh, well, I've opened it. I, I think I've used one, except that was it. Yeah, I have all those, and I have a whole bunch of power bait, but I already told you that. And yeah, it's pretty much all the all that I have here. So, oh, and then I don't know if I said pliers, but pliers. But, yeah, this is everything that I have with me. And when I first came here to Denver, this is all I had. Then, then I got um, this little one. And this is just basically a fishing on history. Then, um, I went to California first, except, like, before I even moved back over here. But, um, yeah, I brought this one because I left it in my dad's car for a while. And then, yeah, this one I just got for Christmas. So, some rod history. Oh, stupid hook. Oh, wait, no, it was the auto lock thing. All right, I couldn't fix it. But, yeah. Oh, hey, that's cool. It stayed. But, yeah, that's pretty much everything <sighs> there there's probably still some stuff that I didn't go over that's in that tackle box except I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to put all these videos together I might have done it for, done it for a waste but if I did I'll put I'll try to go over it faster next time and I'll put that video instead. I went through two sets of batteries doing this. So, yeah, I hope I can. So, but yeah, that's gonna, today I was gonna go outside and ride, and then it started snowing, and I got mad. And I was like, oh, I have a backup plan. But now next time it snows, I don't have a backup plan, so. Yeah, later.